I'm Will Greenwald, and you're watching Loot Drop on Geek.com. Last week was Toy Fair, the Toy Industry Association's annual trade show where companies from all over the world show off their newest upcoming toys and collectibles right here in New York. And there was some really cool stuff, so let's jump right into it. First, Hasbro, which wasn't at the show. That's not new. Hasbro actually sets up a huge showroom a few blocks away from the convention center during Toy Fair, and there they showed off a lot of awesome things. The biggest and most badass of them was Devastator. Original, G1-inspired, six Transformer Gestalt Devastator. Hasbro is pushing lots of Transformers combiners. Gestalt is word for combiner in Transformers fan speak, with Combiner Wars, which lets you take a Voyager class medium Transformer and four deluxe class small Transformers for limbs and a chest and make your own Superion, Menasaur, whatever. Devastator isn't that. Six Voyager class medium Transformers. G1 green and purple. He's massive, nearly as tall as Metroplex over here. So badass. He's going to be 150 when it comes out this fall, but giant green and purple Devastator made of six Voyager Transformers. Yes! No spoilers for Age of Ultron or Ant-Man, but if you love obscure Marvel characters, you're going to love what's coming to the 6-inch Legends and 3 3 quarter inch Infinite lines from Hasbro. Batrock the Leaper? Yes. X-52? Yes, and there better be a trench coat equipped Next Wave variant coming, Hasbro. Grim Reaper after he's been apparently exposed to Joker Toxin? Oh yeah. Also, Misty Knight, Chameleon, Tiger Shock, Batrock the Leaper. You said Batrock the Leaper twice! I like Batrock the Leaper! You know the three-blade crossguard lightsaber from the Force Awakened trailer? Well, you can make it along with way stupider lightsabers with the new lightsaber Blade Builders line. All of Hasbro's new non-Force FX lightsabers will be compatible with each other so you can connect them together to make lots of different mimetic configurations. Hello, Light Menorah. Hasbro's gone awesomely nuts with Nerf, too. Nerf Modulus is a build-your-own Nerf gun series that basically gives you a semi-automatic motorized Nerf pistol rifle like the Strife and lets you slap on whatever stocks, barrels, grips, handle scopes, and whatever else you want on it. It's like the N-Strike rail accessories and a few of the older barrel extensions and scopes, but with way more choices. Also, there's Nerf Rival. It's Hasbro trying to take on an older crowd with Nerf, apparently, with like against paintball and airsoft. These guns fire little foam balls with surprising force, and we'll see how the new design goes. But this is all going to be darts coming, so that's what's important. And one more Nerf thing. I'm going to just pan across this Nerf zombie strike gun in complete silence so you can take it all in. Nerf Duminator. Four six-shot cylinders in a mutant revolver Tommy gun thing called the Duminator. That's just Hasbro, and we haven't even gotten to the convention center yet which we will go to now. There's nothing over here, we don't have a transition. Lego had some cool new kits, including Jurassic World sets. Yes, I saw the Chris Pratt minifig, and yes, it's as boyishly charming as his Twitter feed says. Scooby-Doo sets, including the Mystery Machine, and there are new Lego City sets. Now you can build a truck that hauls porta-potties, or make a demolition scene where construction workers blow up a toilet. I have no idea. Stealth Mythbuster sets? Also, Legity's finally making the Rarity Cosplayer minifig I always wanted. That's not the only building block in town. McFarlane Toys revealed its own building sets for The Walking Dead, and they're super grimy and gruesome. So finally I can make a Lego Silent Hill scene. There's some rad things at ThinkGeek's booth too. Another modular toy gun system, but it lets you make a laser rifle with a Warhammer 40,000 bayonet axe thing on it, and tons of new Star Wars kitchen gear on the way. Also, they have the license for Attack on Titan roleplay toys, and they didn't have a mock-up there, but they will be making a roleplay version of the big motorcycle throttle razor swords they use. On the Japanese import figure side, Bandai Tamashi Nations showed off Samurai Darth Vader and his Japanese armor stormtroopers, and Yoshi is joining Mario and Luigi as an SH Figuarts figure soon. Good Smile has a Metal Gear Solid 2 Figma on the way, along with the uh, original Metal Gear Solid Ninotaroid snake figure with a replacement polygon head, which looks awesome, plus an adorable Mario Ninotaroid. And these Kotobukiya figures aren't new, but I want to show them to you anyway. Sexy, Bishojo statue versions of Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger. Drink them in. More close to home, Mezco Toys has a gorgeous comics-perfect version of Judge Dredd coming with the Lawmaster cycle, and NECA is adding Gremlins 2 to its line of 8-bit throwback action figures based on movie concepts. They took a weird idea and ran with it. I still need to find my 8-inch purple Batman. Also on the Lego side, they had a big case showing every Star Wars minifig ever made. Nothing really new, but it gives me the opportunity to point out my favorite Star Wars name. Kit Fisto! All caps. Kit Fisto! Keep watching Lootrop for more toys, collectibles, and things you can buy.